Hello everyone and welcome to my Bachelorette official channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. After keeping their love a secret for months, Golden Bachelorette stars Joan Vassos and Chalk Chapel are finally allowed to talk about it. However, their latest comments indicate that, like heartbreaker Jerry Turner, Joan may soon have her heart crushed by Chalk. Joan's relationship with Jerry during her brief tenure on The Golden Bachelor shown that they might not have been a good fit, but she was able to connect with the show. Joan was ready for her journey after avoiding a bullet with Jerry, whose reputation took a nosedive after the show. Gary and Joan didn't get along, but that didn't stop her from being the Golden Bachelorette. A group of 24 men who were eager to get to know Joan and wanted to form a lifelong bond were brought together for her season. During season one of the Golden Bachelorette, Bachelor Nation got to meet the cast members and experience their rose ceremonies and dates. Some of them were fun, but others were difficult to envision with Joan in the long run. Chuck and the other frontrunners for the season were obvious. Some of the men, such as Chuck, Mark Anderson, Guy Gansard, and Pascal Edguy, were closely watched throughout Joan's season of The Golden Bachelorette. Bachelor Nation wasn't too excited about most of the guys who were considered frontrunners, particularly Chuck, who was frequently kept apart from the other members of the Golden Bachelorette season, one group. Chuck appeared to be pursuing Joan more vigorously than the other men. But once press reports surfaced about his lack of commitment in relationships, his efforts didn't seem sincere. Bachelor Nation is understandably concerned about their future now that Joan has selected Chalk. Bachelor Nation watchers were shocked to see Joan break her promise, despite her consistent stance throughout the season that she would not get engaged during the Golden Bachelorette's final. During her tenure as the lead, Joan lacked confidence in her relationships with the men in her cast. She found it difficult to envision herself becoming engaged to any of her participants during the season, even though she was aware that she was falling for some of the boys and didn't have strong feelings for others. Joan ultimately chose Chuck and accepted his proposal, despite even admitting in the Golden Bachelorette final that she wasn't feeling secure in her relationships heading into the last few days of the competition. Joan joyfully accepted Chalk's proposal, despite her desire to avoid being engaged, and disclosed that the couple is still engaged. Her decision to reverse it was odd, unsettling, and caused others to question Chalk's level of influence on Joan. Even how close she is to her grandchildren, Joan remained steadfast throughout the season that she had no desire in moving away from her children in Maryland. Chuck is from Kansas and Joan is from Maryland. The two have already had lengthy conversations about their future plans, including where they want to live. Joan had stated that she would not abandon her family, but it seems that she is reconsidering her choice. Joan talked candidly about her and Chuck's goals for the near future. Joan and Chuck both have places they can reside and they both mentioned that they will be traveling back and forth between her home state and is until they make a decision about where they want to settle. Though none of them has family in the area, the couple has also disclosed that they are thinking of relocating to New York area in order to have a place of their own. Joan's initial plans to move were very different from the possibility of leaving her family in Maryland. It's shocking that Joan would think about putting Chuck above her family. But Chuck has made it apparent that he grew close to Joan during season one of the Golden Bachelorette, but it seems as though he has been more concerned with the attention he has received from the show than with his relationship. As he progressed on the Golden Bachelorette, Chuck revealed more about himself, but his social media conduct outside of the show has been peculiar. With the ability to openly discuss his engagement, Chuck has been even more forthcoming with his posts, which have been gratuitous throughout the season. Although Joan and Chuck are probably both happy that they won't have to conceal their relationship in public, 
Chuck's actions on social media have been viewed as odd. The Golden Bachelorette Viewers have questioned influence since, despite his seeming love for Joan, he seems to be acting phony while posting about their relationship. As an entrepreneur, Chuck could just utilize his Golden Bachelorette status and his romance with Joan to garner attention until it ends, then abruptly break things off. Joan made it apparent at the end of the Golden Bachelorette season one that she had no desire in a televised wedding, much as her position on becoming engaged at the end of the season. Bachelor Nation alumni attended the massive televised wedding of Gary and Theresa Nist, his last rose recipient. Although Joan and her fellow Golden Bachelor competitors attended the extravagant celebration, it became a disgrace to the franchise once Gary and Theresa's marriage broke down. Joan made it known early in her season that she didn't want the same for herself and her final decision because she knew how sensitive Bachelor Nation was about Gary and Theresa's live TV wedding and the strain it imposed on their relationship. It was clear that Joan wouldn't have a TV wedding as the season went on since she didn't trust her actors. But once they announced their engagement, it appeared that it would happen. Joan may suffer if their relationship ends because she is giving in to Chalk's desires and not being loyal to herself. But over the course of season one of the Golden Bachelorette, Chalk was constantly the odd man out. Chalk didn't appear to have the capacity to form any attachments except from his relationship with Joan. Yet the other men competing for her affection were able to establish deep bonds with one another. On Bachelor franchise shows, making friends with the other competitors is not mandatory, but it is something that the more socially conscious contestants usually do right away. The boys on the show noticed Chuck's conduct and his tendency to distance himself from the other actors. Although he has since said that he had relationships that weren't seen on film, it seemed odd. Even if Joan and Chuck might have had a deep connection, many people were turned off by Chuck's actions toward the cast, viewing them as a serious warning sign. Chuck's propensity for seclusion doesn't seem to be going away after hearing his defense of his actions. Joan can feel trapped as a result of this. It's evident from the various instances given above that Joan is compromising her principles to suit Chuck's needs. Although it's clear that Joan and Chuck click, it seems like Joan could be sacrificing more to keep their relationship going. Chuck, however, appears to be merely profiting off their relationship and isn't making any sacrifices. Although Chuck might genuinely feel something for Joan, it appears that he might not be the type to select her if it meant giving up something in his life. Joan has to sacrifice much more than Chuck in their daily life now that they are in the public eye in order to make things work. Joan might be setting herself up for failure in her relationship with someone as seemingly unchangeable as Chuck if she gives up to all of his demands. Thanks for watching if you like this video, so please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and don't miss any updates.